What's up guys, Cursive Man here, and I'm doing a quick video, uh, tomorrow's comic, well, no, two days to a comic book day, today's Monday, I'm forgetting, it was a long day at work today, um, I got a couple packages, uh, well, just one package in the mail this weekend, and, um, it's from my buddy Smo Daddy, and, uh, did a, he had some extras of, uh, uh, some Thors that he had showed in his last video, last couple videos ago, and uh, offered them up to me, gave me first dibs on them, which is awesome, man. I appreciate you doing that. And um, I traded him some uh, Avenger stuff and um, some older double stuff that I had also, so it kind of worked out good for both of us. But um, so let me show you those. And man, he threw in an extra book, which Shmo Daddy does that. He's an awesome guy, and I appreciate it. But my kids have. Uh, I think my little girl filed my books for me in my catalog behind me here. That middle shelf is all Thor, which is kind of, let me see a little better there, how thick it's getting. But, um, oh yeah, you see my two Halloween guys back here. Well, there's two of them. There's a third one, too. I'll show you. There he is. Scream, man. We just made the ghost this weekend, too, so uh, it lights up. It's really cool. It's made out of a tomato cage with a, um, like a, one of those balls that you, uh, used in school the styrofoam ball you put that at the top and we painted a little eyes on the sheet and it's got lights going up there it's pretty cool you know it's pretty excited halloween's coming up soon so it's gonna be awesome but um also in the background you got bright eyes playing just for you man so <laughs> um anyways let me get back to the comic books i'm just rambling like hell right now but um uh, first one he sent was um issue 137 of the mighty thor I went ahead and threw these in my lore because they were so awesome. Uh, this is uh, fighting Oleg, the, the uh, troll. Very cool. Anyways, what I was getting to about the extra book you sent me, man, I swear I hope this is the right one because I had, a, I did have it, by the way. That's funny. But, you know, I'm always happy to have extras. But um, I can't remember to save my life if this was it. So I hope this is it. If not, I do apologize. <laughs> but thank you very much for sending the extra. Uh, he sent me a journey into mystery. Also, issue 121. I did not have this. So I think I've now got 10 of the uh, Thor journey into mystery. So that's collections coming together pretty good. Absorbing man on the cover, which is so awesome. He's it's a really cool. Um, Thor enemy is uh, that guy's just so bad. And then I believe this is the extra man. I swear, if it's not, I, I feel terrible for not knowing. But <laughs> um, like I said, I had it, but you know, I'm proud to have that double. But I think this was it, issue 264. If I'm wrong, please tell me, and I will correct myself on my Wednesday haul, man. Let me know. So. Uh, so yeah, I do appreciate ver that very much, man. It's so awesome uh, that you give me first dibs on the, your Thor stuff, which I appreciate that very much. Um, <clears throat> also in my heading, you'll see Janice Joplin. That's something, uh, she's one of my favorite 60s and uh, singers. I mean, she's just amazing. I have most all of her records and she's just, her voice is amazing. It's hard to describe it. It's one of those things that though, it's like, you gotta love it or hate it. My wife can't stand it, and I always mess with her, and I tell her she sounds like Janice Joplin when she's singing too. So that's pretty funny. But um, anyway, so I found this issue of uh, Rock and Roll Comics. It's uh, issue number 63. Unauthorized and proud of it. It's Janice Joplin. So really cool. Um, the it's basically like a. Uh, just kind of tells like the story of her life when she first got started into music going through till she died and um it's really cool you know it's uh well written and it just goes like i said it goes through all the most important parts of her life at coming through uh that period of time when uh drugs and stuff like that you know is taking away um uh, some of our most legendary musicians you know Jimi hendrix and those guys you know dying so young <clears throat> and uh she uh, i think she made a comment it's about Jimi hendrix death or something i forget now i'll have to relook it up but 
anyways, very cool. They got a lot of these that, um, they're just all on, you know, I've seen a Metallica, Guns N' Roses, there's a Prince one, uh, all kind of, every one of the major rock and roll people, so, really cool. Some of the musicians have been pretty pissed about it, but, you know, because they don't have permission to do this, so it's, plus they're unauthorized and proud of it, they just kind of go with it, but, uh, this is, you know, whatever, it's good stories. <clears throat> it's all black and white, no color on the inside, so, um, I don't know if that follows suit for all of them, I'm sure it does, but, uh, anyways, that is it for this, uh, video right now, um, as far as my trade goes, uh, my buddy Gary, Mongo Stomptano 7, big shout out to you, man, um, he's posted quite a few videos here lately and done some rants and stuff like that, and I'm not gonna rant on anything, cause it's just, I'll be talking forever, but, you were talking in one of your last videos about um, <clears throat> being addicted to comic books and stuff, and I know what you're talking about, man, because it's, it's easy to get caught up in, in something you really enjoy, and it's, you know, you can get carried away with it, but I, I don't think you are. I think you're just doing something you enjoy, and that's good, man. I, I urge you to keep doing it. Um, yeah, I think we can spend a little more than we should on stuff sometimes, but, you know, because I've done it myself. I've had to step back a few times myself and, and say, wow, you know, I've spent hundred and something dollars this week just on comic books, and it's like, whoa, you know, the next week it's like, you know, you're looking like, damn, I wish I wouldn't have spent that. But, you know, in, in the end, it's you're, you're, as long as you're happy, you're still paying your bills and you're doing whatever, taking care of your family, it's okay to have to have a little, you know, leeway and enjoyment for yourself. You know, just like you said, we could be out doing something different. I could be out buying drugs or, you know, doing whatever. So uh, just uh, don't be too hard on yourself, man. You, it's all good. And um, uh, as far as you know, everybody else goes. Thanks for the new subscribers. I'm actually past 200 now, and I really do appreciate that. And all the cool videos y'all have been sending me for your uh, submission to my contest for your Show Me Your Pets. Um, you got all the way to October 1st, so I'm looking forward to seeing more. Um, I re really enjoyed all of them. That's, that's super cool to see your, your pets and stuff. So, uh, And uh, all my other buddies on here, Gare and uh, just everybody, Schmo Daddy and Loki Goblin, and um, I mean, I could sit and go down Hippies Collectibles, Howler Mouse, uh, you know, uh, Mongo Stone Town 07. I'll talk about him all the time. Gary, it's just there's tons of these guys. Y'all need to be checking them out and just you know, looking at their videos is so it's so cool that everybody on here is kind of coming like a, a tight knit friends and and like it's like a little family on here, so it's really cool. But uh, anyways, I'm rambling now, see? But I'm going to let this video end here. But uh, again, thank you very much, Mo Daddy, for the trade. And I look forward to some more if you got them in the future. Uh, maybe I'll have some more stuff that you might be interested in. And uh, looking forward to Wednesday for comic book day. So I'm looking pretty excited to see what's coming out. Um, but uh, hope you all had a decent Monday. I'll talk to you later.